Hello, everyone. I'm Orlando, and I'll be presenting to you the impact of artificial intelligence and ICT on OECD's labor productivity. productivity. Let me begin with a powerful quote from Google CEO Sundar Pichai, who claimed that artificial intelligence would be more productive to humanity than electricity and fire. This bold statement underscores the importance of our topic today. Because in recent years, AI technology has seen remarkable de development and continues to evolve at an increasing pace. This phenomenon has profoundly impacted businesses and individuals on worldwide, spreading the use of AI technologies for both productive and recreational purposes. Given this rapid growth, it's crucial that we understand and estimate the true impact of this technology on our productive processes. Our study has two main objectives. The first one is to estimate the impact of AI and information and communication technologies on the labor productivity of the 38 OECD countries for the period 2005-2022. And the second one is to test the hypothesis that AI and ICT positively contribute to OECD's labor productivity. To achieve these, to achieve these objectives, we employed a comprehensive regression analysis let me walk you through our key variables and model. Our dependent variable was GDP per hour worked, sourced from OECD, which represents the labor productivity in US dollars. For independent variables, we used AI publications, which is a percentage of total scientific publications. It's sourced from OECD. And also AI and non-AI patent applications in absolute numbers, which is sourced from the World Intellectual Property Organization. We also included several control variables such as internet penetration, mobile subscriptions, fixed telephone subscriptions, secure internet servers, research and development expenditures, and uh, researchers in R&D, all sourced from the work development. Our regression model is as follows. Here you can see the dependent variable GDP per hour worked for the country I in the year T our constant, and also the natural logarithm of AI, which is a vector of the variables, AI publications, AI and non-AI patents. Also ICT as a vector of internet, mobile servers, telephone subscri subscriptions, researchers in R&D, and R&D expenditures. Gini income inequality, and also of FEDES cultural variables. Our study results. We employed uh, various regression techniques, including pool dwellers, a fixed a random effects model. This is to ensure uh, the robustness of our results. Here you can see the pool dwellers for simple regressions without any control variables. We see statistically significant and positive coefficient for uh, all the variables. For example, in AI, we see that AI publications has a coefficient of 7.93. AI patents has a coefficient of 4.21. And non-AI patents has a coefficient of 4.95. These coefficients basically mean that uh, a 1% increase in this variable would, would roughly produce a 7.93% increase in GDP per hour worth. For the pool dwellers with multiple regressions, we added the Gini income inequality and of and um, six cultural variables, which are power distance, individualism, masculinity versus femininity, uncertainty avoidance, long-term orientation, and in indulgence. So we still see statistically significant coefficients for every variable, um, aside from R&D expenditures, and we also see that they are positive. So again, for AI, AI publications, we have a coefficient of 7, 10.80 almost. For AI patents, we have a coefficient of 1.83. And non-AI patents, we have a 2.40 coefficient. Here you can also see the results for the fixed effects, random effects models, 
Um, as we can see, the version pattern test suggested the use of pull to LS regression for the for the AI publications variable. And also we found a significant and positive correlation between both AI and non-AI patterns and labor productivity. And the variable research and development expenditures also showed a significant and statistically positive coefficient. Most importantly, our results showed a statistically and significant positive correlation between AI and SAT on labor productivity. Specifically, as we said before, an increase of 1% in AI publications translates to a remarkable 10.79% increase in GDP per hour. And also, an increase of 1% in AI patents correlates with a 1.33 increase in labor productivity. These findings strongly support our hypothesis that AI and ICT positively contribute to labor productivity in OECD countries. <clears throat> Implications, short directions. Implications of our study are far reaching, particularly for policymakers worldwide. Our results underscore the importance of understanding and implementing strategies to boost a country's labor productivity through the development and implementation of AI and ICD. It is crucial to note that increases in labor productivity are directly linked to economic development and prosperity. <coughs> Therefore, our findings suggest that investing in AI and ICT technologies could be a powerful driver of economic growth. Looking to the future, we see several promising directions for further research. Finding and implementing new and more relevant proxies for AI development, such as venture capital investments in AI, but unfortunately, this data is currently insufficient for our regression models, but it could provide valuable insights in the future. Also, um, we, it is also possible to estimate the potential future impact of AI on labor productivity as this technology becomes more widespread and developed, maximizing its productive potential. In conclusion, in conclusion, our study provides strong evidence that AI and ICT technologies positively contribute to labor productivity. As these technologies continue to develop, their influence on productivity is likely to grow even further. We recommend that policymakers adapt the strategies to incentivize the development and correct implementation of these technologies. This approach could lead to higher labor productivity and consequently greater economic prosperity. However, it's important to note that further research is needed. A more comprehensive and relevant database will allow us to better understand the full potential of AI on productivity. Thank you so much for your attention. This was everything I had to share. Have a good day.